Hello, this is Haku Devin, and I am here with level 4 of the backrooms. Also known as the abandoned office. I had to mute the sound because it has a continuous this rain sound that I did not want to get into any new copyright troubles for. Let's begin. I only realized the rain was cold because my skin carried the heat of my blood. My inner fire was burning with a strong ambition to keep going further, to not give in to my fears. As I strode onward, my eyes caught the rainbows hidden beneath the heavy clouds of storm and rain. A note found in a wanderer's journal, discovered in level 4. Survival difficulty. Class, habitable. Safe. Frequent natural hazards. Devoid of harmful entities. General Outlook. Level 4, also known as the abandoned office, is an expensive, empty structure with architecture resembling a modern office building. Despite this, level 4 is entirely devoid of furniture and other accessories one would typically expect to find in an office. Excluding the the avalanche on gray concrete pillars scattered about, spots on the carpet of the level appear to indicate that furniture may have been previously present at one point in time. Curiously, this level possesses an effect unseen in many other levels of the back rooms, that being the presence of seasons. They are referred to in this matter due to when we level's exterior weather patterns hedge together a few months at a consistent rate. For the sake of easy seasons, well, they have to be referred to as spring, summer, autumn, and winter, respectively. Contrasting the gray monochromatic scheme of the office, the rolling rain clouds visible outside the level's windows represent and the only splash of color, varying from dark gray to slight grayish blue, or even a dark head of purple, during the autumn and summer seasons. A noteworthy feature of the level is the flat flannel LED light fixtures. Specifically, the lack thereof. Most of the squares in the level's drop ceiling in which, in which lights should be found instead lack them, therefore leaving those areas perpetually cast in darkness, thus trying to activate lights which simply shows no response, leading to the conclusion that the only constant source of illumination in the level is the light that emanates through the various windows present intimately along its, its walls. Remaining in level 4 for a long span of time during seasons when light is scarce is advised against, since it can cause low vision, blind spots, poor night vision, or blurry sight, while being in direct contact with natural hazards had have led to wanderers contracting pneumothorax, collapsed lungs, sleep apnea, or irregular heartbeats. Level 4 is rightly regarded as a rest stop among wanderers, as a safe location for one to take a break during their journey. Due to this, the creation of colonies and outposts is considered highly lucrative. Many of the same communities have begun to flourish, have begun and flourish in this level. General outlook: workrooms. Despite this level's architecture suggesting the existence of multiple floors, the sand by means of stairs has revealed the lack of a ground floor, and likewise, the lack of a a top floor or roof. Even though the level of, of even though exploration of level 4 is limited in this aspect, one also can access the other areas within the same floor, such as workrooms, smaller offices, or studios. While the main lobby of the level is empty and completely devoid of furniture, the small workrooms found within the same area are quite the opposite. Having functionally somewhat new looking fitments and, and chattels, these workrooms vary in size and length. As owners have reported, rooms that have the fitting capacity of even 15 or 20 people at the same time, while others have reported rooms barely fitting two people, creating the sensation of, of claustrophobia or enclosement. Aside from this anomaly, if which architects have been unable to find an explanation for, once a season transitions to the next, the appearance of the and style of the workrooms gradually change over time. Curiously, most of the workrooms are presented in the pictures attached 
as far as that in the pictures attached, do not like the principal characteristics as the main as the level's main lobby area. Having features such as ceilings with a and then dropping spec structures, working LED lights, horizontal sliding windows, and light gray walls made of the very same cold concrete, the windows in these workrooms are typically covered by transparent curtains or an opaque surface that stops workers from seeing outside the office. Despite this, the illumination of the LED lights is strong enough to frighten all the rooms in an equal manner with a white yellowish is luminescence. But some wanderers claiming that they tend to emit significant levels of warmth, too. Wanderers have reported a noticeable scent of fresh light in when entering the, a level's workroom. The white panel desk located near the offices usually range between 1.6 to 2.2 meters in size, with an average height of approximately 0 0.6 to 72 meters. Meanwhile, up at this, Pedestal of bundles are located under the right side of the tables. They have three drawers with silver metallic candles, which scarcely contain any food supplies, such as snacks, peanut muffins, smoothies, or bottles of almond water. But since the circumstances of finding solid supplies of alimentation are rare, most drawers and waste baskets nearby are empty or scarcely filled with various objects such as pamphlets, old notes, elastics, markers, or scissors. Of note, a single decrepit journal belonging to Wanderer had been found in one of the new workrooms and preserved by Meg. It came that more unique objects could be found in the workrooms as well. Computers, tablets, monitors, or different modern devices can be used by Wanderers in these workrooms as they can search information about structures, designs, and causes of other levels or cultural background and elements regarding level 4 within the document present on the screens. It should be noted that no Wi-Fi connection is present in this level and cannot be accessed by any means. Aside from the accessible gadgets, monitors also report finding in typical object, office objects, namely Xerox and printing machines, folders, notebooks, pens, push pens, duct tape, paper clips, POS terminals, in trays, out trays, is desktop organizes small plants in flower pots, empty white grayish cups or bowls of ceramic eggs, Disc calculators or post it notes. So, we'll chairs are common in the workrooms, always paired with a desk. These chairs have a set of wheels for mobility and adjustable height mechanism. Similar to the chairs typical in offices in the front room, all chairs appear to be constructed with the same black uh, polyester like material, reported being very appealing to wanderers, with some knowing that they are extremely comfortable when working at the desks. Others are true. Other attributes revolve around its strength, flexibility, and capacity for not getting stained, which can be great for wanderers who suffer from different allergens such as pollen and dust. Aside from these aspects, these soil chairs are very breathable and comfortable at the same time, creating the impression that they were designed strategically to increase the productivity of those working at the computers. Some nuts belonging to former wanderers have even reported describing chairs as a good spot to rest your body in or to sleep on. Part 2 Finally, we can stop that noise. <sighs> Architecture of the windows. Different from the, the previous level, was level 4 is the first background level to contain windows that depict scenery on the other side. Along the level's exterior or walls, most of the windows are present at even intervals. These windows are unable to be opened by any means. The testing has shown them to be virtually indestructible with current technology. A windows op op a window openings into the wall of the building, including emission of light and air, as we expected, the windows in this level appear to be arranged mainly for the purpose of architectural decoration. Uh, they can also serve as a pleasing gospel for grain scenery enjoyers. As wanderers enter the area, on the right side of the room, the following features may be observed. XOX horizontal slider, windows measuring about 1.2 meters. Glass is speculated to be made of polycarbonate panels, but this is yet to be confirmed. Silos, concrete similar to the office walls. Bullion, dusty powder white. The head of the windows is missing the lintel resemble. While the lintel resembles the same aspect as concrete, black fire wires can be seen hanging from the sill to the floor. 
the rain. Each water drop sits on the window like a puddle that will never leave. Perfectly formed, perfectly cold, to break the skin. Even though I never got uh, to feel the water or still in my body's heat, at least just a tiny bit of the time. Perhaps I could even enjoy the warmth of a long forgotten shelter. The coziness of my sh of my suffering allowed me to become accustomed to the elements of the wind and cold. But I can't help thinking about the sun breaking one day. What well, if each drop would sparkle with light then? With the warmth seep through and bring a new reality? I think I'd like to see this, or even enjoy it quite a lot. A note found in the water's journal. It is believed the entry was written during a thunderstorm taking place in the summer season. As mentioned before, Level 4 has a, a plethora of windows reflecting the rain from outside. After several studies and examinations, investigations, and analysis effect actuated it on the level's rain and natural evolution of it, as well as its disasters, the Meg Association drew a final conclusion and regarding the natural phenomenon. It is highly believed that the weather comes in seasons that tend to change gradually at three month intervals. The seasons recording so far are winter, spring, summer, and autumn, which respectively present very familiar characteristics, likely the equivalent of natural seasons in the front rooms. Rain in the Spring Spring is the rainiest season of all the four recorded throughout the course of a year in terms of quantity and precipitation. And days where rain is active. During the season, the best precipitation dynamics of winter and summer converge, and the, the temperature can reach between 12 degrees Celsius to 18 degrees Celsius. The explanation on why the spring season is the best one to stay in is rather simple, focusing on the fact that the warm air holds more moisture than colder air, and the air gets naturally mellow mellower. If winter had blizzards as its main natural disaster, the spring system has a constant presence of thunderstorms as its main natural disaster. The top of the clouds is, is pure white, as the bottom part is a darker spruce or dim blue tongue. Depending on the rate and intensity, if the clouds revolve all around the white and blue organic color tones, the green drops are light gray thick and shine as if they are, they are made of silver. Sometimes the rainbow can be spotted between the clouds, alongside sunshine rays. As much before, the thunderstorms present the main danger uh, recorded in the spring season. Adverse health effects on others were emitted as they could not enter in direct contact with any manifestation of the thunderstorms. Though in reality, lightning is the most obvious threat to wanderers. Staying immediately in front of a window when the lightning involves strikes can cause temporary blindness, a ringing sensation in the ears, and hair stand on its end due to the introduction of static electricity into the immediate area affected. Summer. The summer season is widely known as the time of year where a heavy rainfall takes place as the sun becomes over or heated right after the end of spring. The temperature can and oscillate between 24 degrees Celsius to 24 degrees Celsius, but extreme degree he recorded in this level was between 40 and 42 degrees Celsius. The clouds have a purple magenta color, however, these shades are often scattered, creating patches that appear to have less purple than others. This can be concluded by to the lightning in itself coming through the light rays projecting the scenery. Only found in this season and cut back to if rain is a, is a common natural phenomenon because of the process of rising air where clouds continue to form and grow, thus leading to the point where clouds cannot hold in longer the weight of water droplets and create precipitation instead. The very same natural manifestation results in the creation of aluminous clouds, active low pressure instability in the atmosphere, which causes heavy rainfall and manifests for a long duration, and often accompanied by thunderstorms and thunder lightning. Rays of sun can be spotted beneath the clouds sometimes as well, especially after an episode of heavy rain. There have been the reported phenomena of the right thunderstorms, which in result bear more or much more rain than what is considered usual, although it is not comparable to its spring counterpart. It can still be quite difficult to carry on with typical such common tasks, and should not be a matter taken lightly by wanderers. Autumn or Fall 
The fall season, also known as autumn in some places, is among the most passive of the seasons. Rain and thunderstorms are so frequent, but not as long lasting as in spring, nor as intense as in summer. Typically, only for this interval of time, the sky is overcast and a peaceful contrast of yellow, orange, white, gray, again, slightly purple spectre. But rays of sun can be you often spot it poking through the gloomy ceiling, like, like the like look at these clouds abide. Most had associated the around season with the feeling of melancholy since the possibilities of the summer are gone on what are the coolest of the winter is on the horizon. I am not speaking right. Ugh. The summer season starts with the average daily temperature below of 50 degrees Celsius, a noticeable drop of the air as he compared to summer. The first of autumn, 35 to 40 days since the beginning of the season, is characterized by the domination of the serene, calm, and sunny yet a, a, a clinic weather. During this period, favorable conditions are created for wanderers to form colonies and alpha since the manifestations of the rain are minimal and temperatures can reach 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. Toward the end of, of autumn, the frequency of cyclones increases as the cold masses of air penetrate through, resulting in general temperatures lowering in, into 10 or, or from 10 to or 3 degrees Celsius. In the appearance of the first frost, the rain drops again to cool and eventually freezes in snowflakes while the clouds take more of a white coloring. This can be considered a sign or even a warning for all the wanderers residing at a level to leave because it symbolizes as a gradual transition transition to the winter season. Winter. Instead of the typical rain drops present in the other seasons, the precipitation of within this period of time is formed from large cold snowflakes. The presence of blizzards is a constant event classified as a natural disaster. As the temperature can drastically drop to a negative degree, varying from um, 0 degrees Celsius to even negative, degrees Celsius, negative 10 degrees Celsius during the season. Even though the snowflakes have a slow and dance like movement when falling down from the clouds, they melt brightly when making contact with the window surface. Meanwhile, the clouds have an almost pure white tone and it can reach a light gray color during a blizzard. If the temperature eventually drops below zero, ice pellets will start forming on the windows, creating the illusion of a soft grayish tone of color to the glass surface. Other or wanderers have ever before witnessing chunks of ice falling down through clouds alongside the, the snowflakes during the winter season, but no picture has captured this phenomenon so far. MEG Medical Notice The winter season has been classified as the most passive level in terms of manifestations, but the most aggressive when it comes to its natural disaster or its effects on the wanderers. Starting an extended period of time in the level during the winter season is strongly advised against as its temperature may plummet from below 0 degrees Celsius to negative 10 degrees Celsius. Reason The following illnesses that can be caught on level 4 are listed below. Hyperthermia, symptoms, uncontrollable shivering, profound exhaustion, fumbling hands, signs of memory loss, slurred speech, or drowsiness. Frostbite, symptoms, pins and needles, aching or throbbing in the affected area, numbness, loss of normal skin color, wax looking in skin or muscle stiffness as leads to clumsy locomotive movements. Trench foot, symptoms, tingling sensations, general pain, cold and blotchy skin as in the post- I firmly mean, it's starting to affect the nerve damage at the foot level. Mm. Chill blades. Symptoms. Itchy. Red areas on hands. Skin ulcers. Swelling. Delusional sensations of burning or loss of normal skin color. In order to catch one of these four mentioned cold related ailments, experts recommend to take the following advice into consideration. Pay attention to your emergency supply kits. Avoid bringing heating devices into the level that are meant for outdoor use. It can lead to the destruction of the integrity of the office rooms and, and the potential harm of other wanderers within the same area. It is important to wear thick clothes. It is 
prefer to wear several lightweight, warm, cozy layers of clothing rather than one layer of heavy clothing, such as a jacket. Remove the pieces of clothing that get wet during expiration. Move to a warmer room in the level of one as far as possible from the windows. Small rooms better maintain the warm temperature. Studies and recordings. Analysis on level 4. These are basically the addendums. Addendum 1. Expedition log. <sighs> I am a mag explorer with a regiment consisting of 12 researchers. I'd prefer not to dis disclose any further details of my identity, so consider this very document a mystery and enigma. While trying to decipher the message, I hope to transmit it through a few. The lines of words. I had managed to get into level 4 after going through a generator or controlled door in the previous level. The one revolving around generator around electrical machines and engines cramped between harsh light around for hallways. Even though I do not show signs of claustrophobia or discomfort, but if I find myself in a narrow area, I can say that I feel quite relieved to see a new site for a change. One that appears to resemble an empty office. Addendum 2. An exploration log. The first entry. Running became my way to feel a sense of control in a life where I had none to begin with. Converting all my emotional suffering and agony into miles just because I had the unlucky chance of getting stuck in this endless loop of ups and downs. Others, perhaps, could have even gotten a chance to pick the root, to pick the poison for fitting in or surrendering. But for me, what else was I supposed to do when the ground felt like it was crumbling from, from just beneath my painfully aching feet? And the walls of burnt down bricks narrowed ever so slowly around me. The electrical station's walls seemed as if they had stood for generations, keeping the interior sheltered from any signs of destruction. The, f is the feeling of genuine and insincere fear triggered this place. This hell of a place is with everyone and in it. To be buried underground and completely forgotten as time passed, I could feel an overwhelming suffocation making its way to my face and throat. But I knew exactly why this was happening. Despite being chased by an enemy I could not see, I tried to remain calm and regain my composure. Closing my eyes and taking deep, slow breaths, even with the nightmares from the deepest reaches of my mind started to craft the scenery in front of me. Get to them before they get to you. That was always my mentality to overcome my trepidations. After all, your own thoughts create your immediate reality. People's fears are triggered by real threats and my memories of threats. Before anything, we must ask ourselves how real the threat is. Or if we have begun to generalize fear and seek evidence to cement it rather than challenge it. That's the rational way of solving an issue, but who thinks rationally, clearly, and strategically when you feel like a like breathing can cause someone to die at the, at the very same moment? When you feel as if your legs are going to betray you when you will need them the most? How can you think with a clear, fresh mind about a future that seems so bright, positive, and close? When the immediate crude present lies bare at your feet, clawing your legs and never letting go, no matter how hard you try. My tired eyes dilated at the view of a generator controlled door. I want to scream, cry out of happiness, call for help, or at least stop for a moment to catch my breath, but I couldn't. The stark contrast of the doors like gray and dark blue sent shivers down my spine as my chest felt like aching. My right hand moved without thinking, wrapping my fingers around its metallic handles and pulling the heavy door toward me. In the abstract of the moment, I found myself on the other side of the door, the loud slammering of the ponderous door behind me making my eardrums feel like they were erupting on the spot. Oh my god, had I finally left that confined zone? This new area was akin to a warm welcome, to a house filled with peace, a portal to a brighter state of mind. The door stood there as if it were an invitation to a new adventure, a new challenge, and a new chance to earn the merit of exploring further. Surprisingly, a musical vibration appearing to come from a small radio synchronized with the low, comfortable buzzing of unknown origin.
I closed my eyes to hear it, my ears felt like capturing each note of this subtle and delicate tune. As they were long since accustomed to the fluorescent buzzing, Beneath heavy eyelids, I let my eyes flutter open slowly again. A mellow, melancholic uh, amalgam of gray colors, ranging from charcoal to cloudy, drowned the scenery before me. The only aspect that li uh, life this empty office-like structure was the wispy, silvery sky outside the windows. The sweet music that maintained this sacred place for tranquility was suddenly replaced with the loud pattering of rain on glass. Water drops bigger than and prairie. The hailstones hit the surface of the windows. Is that rain? It's been so long since I've last seen the daylight. Whew. Finally. Colonies and outposts. Currently, the MEG has recorded two officially documented colonies and outposts within and level 4. VAS, Backrooms and Analytical Squadron, an organization found exclusively in Level 4, with the primary objective of focusing on the exploration of the office's structure, secrets, and connections to the front rooms. The group consists of skilled scientists, professionals in the medical field, reporters, and architects. The VAS is known for are there several discoveries in the backrooms, known for maintaining good relations with the maintenance workers in Level 3. They are friendly and able to trade with wanderers, although a lot of them are quite reserved and, and do not present a welcoming sight for newcomers. As I see, Society of the Red Cross, Natural Sciences, and Medicine, a medicinal pharmaceutical organization focused primarily on maintaining and providing for the health of wanderers who pass by. The group has a current member count of approximately 433, consisting of of various divisions of doctors, nurses, physicians, and pharmacists. It is, it is vulnerable wanderers in situations of disaster or crisis by contributing, diverting, and alleviating suffering in all, all its forms, protecting health, mental well-being, along with the cultivation, res along with cultivating respect toward human dignity. Known to stockpile food, medical supplies, and other necessary resources in order to help wanderers and have a safe time. I'm in level 4. They're friendly and welcoming toward anyone who enters in contact with them. Up for trade as long as the objects acting wanderers trades can serve in healing and harm a human being. Entrances and exits. Let's start with the entrances. There are 10 currently known methods of entering level 4. One may enter this level from level 3 via a door labeled office sector, entering a slightly colored a wooden door on level 30 may lead one to this level. Some doors on level 54's floor 2 have a chance of leading to this level. Entering a, a double sided door with a no exit sign on level 7 may lead to one to this level. Jumping off level 61's train while in motion may lead you to this level. Entering a medical office in level 16 may lead one to this level. Zero grades of low on, on the ceiling of level 34 may rarely lead one to with this level through the floor. Extend hallways on level 37, leaking, like any water, or may eventually lead to level 4. Certain areas on level 47 may seamlessly lead it one to this level. This level may be entered via an orange door on level 153. Exits. There are currently there are nine currently no methods of exiting level 4. Coming upon an, an, or, an ornately decorated door emanating in this quieting classical music would a lead one to level 5. One may lead level 6 by a chance upon the lights in the level going out. Forcing open a window and climbing out during a heavy a thunderstorm may lead one to level 11 or level 37. Entering a room labeled greenhouse may lead one to level 13. Entering a door labeled or with a rose flower, or simple may lead one to level 87 or 150. Entering a door labeled with an ocean wave, simple may lead one to level 100. This proportionately long, unsetting staircases would may lead to level 153. 
Extended Metallic always may lead to level 192 or level 273. No clipping through the walls of this level may lead one to level 4.1. Entering a door with a brass note number 6 will lead one to level 332. And that looks to be it. This has been Haku the Bean. I ha this has been a level four of the back rooms. Please like the video, please please leave a comment, and please subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you next time for whatever I make next time.